Hello, hello, welcome to week four of the November Art Journal Adventure prompt. I'm super excited for this one. Um, I saved this for last. I kind of, Sometimes I do save the writing one for last, I've noticed. I feel like these require us to go in a little bit more, which is great, um, but it can be, you know, it can take some time to really think about it and like decide where you want to go with it. So I, um, I'm i ready <laughs> and I've decided uh, what I want to do for this. So this is the writing prompt advice. Whoops, let's get it in the screen there. What advice would you give to your younger self? Incorporate this writing into your page design. Okay, so this is um, this is an interesting prompt. Not only do we need to think about like what advice would we give to our younger self? Um, what would we tell ourselves? so that we could maybe think about things differently or do something different um, to, you know, help us a little bit earlier in our process of living um, to, to, you know, make our lives a little bit better. <laughs> I know that there are a lot of lessons I've learned over the years that, man, I, I think of, like, if I had known this earlier, what would have been different, you know? And not that I regret or anything, um, my, you know, I, I know that my life is exactly how it's supposed to be and it's beautiful and wonderful and um, and all of the struggles and all the things that we go through help to make us who we are for sure um, but it, it would have been helpful for in certain areas if I'd known certain things a little bit sooner and of course I'm still learning right so um, we're all there we're all still learning we're all growing all that good stuff so all right so um, I am working on a fresh page. I um, I think I'm just going to do a single page for this. Yeah, I'm just going to do a single page. Um, and I have a plan. So uh, when I was thinking about like what advice would I give, the first thing that popped into my head was don't, uh, what's the, the phrase, it's something like um, don't let others dull your shine or something like that. But then, you know, then I was reading through this to see, oh, does it say that kind of anywhere um, that I could use a sticker? And the very first page just say shine. So I probably am going to use that. But, um, but then I was reading through here and there were others, there were other um, quotes and phrases and stuff in here that I thought kind of went along with that. And, it, or, um, just really represented um, things I wish I had known sooner or or not even that so much as like the frame of mind I wish I had been in earlier in my life to help me get to where I know I need to go, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making any sense here, but <laughs> it's hard to think about and, and sort of like put into words, you know what I mean? So, okay, let's just get to it. Uh, I am gonna use pencil if I can find one here we go to start out and I, I kind of want to start like the idea of the um, don't let others dull your shine that's kind of where my brain was starting and so I I'm going to make my image kind of within that theme but then I have an idea of how to incorporate some other phrases uh, just to just to round out the thing. So I really honestly just want this to be like one big sunshine. <laughs> and so there's the sun at the bottom and I'm just sketching. Um, and I'm just gonna make big beams, sunshine, sunlight beams. Mm -hmm. Just going out from the middle there. Just like that. Super simple, very simple page, but we're going to decorate it and, you know, do some fun different things. So, um, I do actually want a couple of colors here. I'm going to do something a little bit different with this. I want to use the stencil and I think I want to do like a pattern within each opposite ray. Wouldn't that be fun? Um, yeah. Now I'm, what I'm trying to decide is do I want like a yellow and orange, a yellow and orange, or do I want to be orange to yellow, blank, orange to yellow, or a different color, different pattern maybe? Ooh, that would be, that could be cool. 
I got Flame and Glitz. These are two new colors from, um, let's do this one, from uh, Catherine Pooler. So this is right on the edge here. It's going to be tricky. We'll do our best. I'll do my best. And it's going to go into the sun, and that's fine. And it's going to go out. Now, if I really cared, I would tape off the edges and, you know, it's just my journal I'm playing around. Who cares? Okay. Let's see how that is. Okay. Okay. We'll be fine. I'm going to keep going with this and I'm going to put something else in place of those other rays. Okay. So we'll do orange first. Oh shoot. Don't move. Don't move. Please stay in place. I'm going to let this one go up a little higher and I'm going to let it be a little bit, there we go, a little bit deeper. Oh man, this glitz is like, whoo, it is very pigmented and very pretty. I'm going to overlap it a little bit. I like that look. And then I want it to go all the way up. So I'm going to just do this, line up my pattern again. Love this stencil because of this pattern. Uh, repeating pattern and the way that it lines up so beautifully like seriously in love with it look at how nice that looks <gasps> oh I love this I love this so much it's so cool I swear to god I think this is my favorite stencil now all right oh I have an idea oh, okay that's gonna be cool okay let's do this one next sorry ideas are just coming to me now and you know how that feels it feels pretty darn good so I don't even care Oh, come on, Cassie. I don't even care if um, it's getting over into the other spot because it's going to be okay. I have plans. I have plans. Okay. Oh, man. This glitz, I mean, I know it's yellow-ish orange. It's actually more of an orange than a yellow. Um, but it is very pigmented. Let's go up one more. There we go. Just line it up. Easy to do. Line it up and get that last little bit. Okay. Okay. And then, so where are we? We did this one. That one's going to be filled in with something else. And then we'll do this little guy down here. So that's just going to be probably mostly orange. But I do want to have a little bit of the glitz at the top of it. Here we go. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love the colors. Love the blending. Love the stencil. I'm just in love, apparently. Let's see. Let's start with this. Let's just do this one, the whole thing. Um, I have to cut off this end now because I ripped that part of it. Okay. Uh, let's just do one whole piece. I do kind of like this one only because it's a little bit more opaque. So you can't, you can kind of see the color from that pattern poking through, but not too much. Um, let's see how that is. Let's just do one. Okay. Nice. Kind of like this. Dot, honestly it's pretty cool make sure I'm filling in all the space there for the most part okay so there's polka dots ah oh, I really like that actually I think I'm gonna just do that it's still nice and bright it's a different pattern and it's black and white so it's not competing with the color on the other one um, okay and then for this um, this Sun down here I think I kind of want to use this um, lemon drop paint uh, from Dilutions because I want to write in here a little bit, I think, anyway. I'm thinking I do. And I almost used my finger, but I'll use a brush. <laughs> um, but also, it's just really nice and bright. I like it. And uh, yeah, I just want that contrast. I think it'll be pretty. So here we go. And then in the very end, I don't really want, I mean, you don't see the 
you know, the pencil lines, but I think I'm going to go over it with black, um, like Posca or something, just to give it some definition in each section. So that'll be the last thing I do. I love this page. Again, this is going to be another one of those like kind of simple pages, but really impactful. I mean, even just the visual of it and then the words I'm going to add, I think this is, this is another one of my favorites, honestly. Okay. Let's see. Just want to try to cover that up. This paint is somewhat translucent, so, you know, it doesn't cover everything. I love her colors, di uh, the dilution line of colors, but in these new paint tubes, um, they're less, they're, they're really kind of translucent, and I, that bums me out, because <laughs> I like opaque more, more than not, more than the other. So I'm a little bit bummed out by that, but, um, okay, it's fine. It's beautiful. Look at how bright and sunshiny that is. Yeah. I'm right. just going to keep going with my black and white, um, washi here. I, I want to get a good, like, straight cut on the end. So I'm going to use my scissors. And I kind of do, like, um doing the outer edges first and then the middle. So I don't know if you're going to do the same thing. That worked pretty well. I just used my fingernail to cut into that crease and that worked perfectly. That's kind of crazy. So this extra washi, I'm going to throw on another page so I don't waste it because you know I don't like to waste anything, so, including washi. Okay, next one. So this is super easy, right? We get to use washi in a really fun way. How many of you have like a million washi rolls that are just kind of hanging out and not knowing what to do with them? Raise your hand. I'm raising my hand. I have drawers and drawers of washi because they're so pretty and you and I love them and I'm like, oh, I will use them. And then, you know, how many ways can you use washi? In fact, there are quite a few. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So let's do this last one. I do actually like going all the way to the bottom, even for that last one. Um, just makes it look a little bit more finished, I think. Okay, I'm not getting the angle quite right here. Got to go right down the middle. There we go. I got it. I don't want to. I don't want there to be any gap though. So hold on. Maybe it'll be easier if I go from the top here. There we go. And then let the bottom flow where it's gonna. Oh, that's okay. All right, that's fine. I have to cut this little end off because it's kind of going off into the next ray, which I don't want it to do. Put my washi there. Oh, yep, just gotta do a little trimming. It's fine. That'll work. Okay, and then up here I'm going to try to do that same thing with my nail. I don't know if it'll work twice. But yeah, it did. Cool. Okay, cut off this stuff at the top. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving this. This is so pretty, and I love how graphic it is, you know? Okay. So, Nana, I have this little guy over here. <clears throat> oh, I've got one more kind of big one. All right, I'm just trying to see all the the rest. There's not much more of this. So this, oh, this is a little tiny one. I'm just going to rip off little pieces and just make sure it's lined up nice. Oh, come on. There you go. Perfect. I'll flip it over so I have, oh, I need to. I like to start with a straight edge here, okay? I just need, ooh, you know what? I bet you, I just need the tiniest little piece. I bet I can use one of these scraps. Okay, perfect. Really, really perfect. Fits exactly. Okay, and after too, if you're worried about your washi staying down, I would, I would actually probably go over this with matte medium 
to make sure it's going to stay. I mean, also it's in your journal, so it's probably not going to be handled a bunch and, you know, coming apart. But just if you're worried about it staying down, you could definitely put some matte medium or Mod Podge or um, anything, any thin adhesive kind of thing like that. That would just be like more of a sealant than an adhesive really. Okay, and then keep on going. This one I can cut. This one I can cut with scissors. All right, keep it going. I'm gonna rip this off because I think it'll be long enough to do the other side because it's a pretty small piece over here. And I think this one, I only need two. Yeah, that works out nicely. All right, cut this one off. Yay, this is looking amazing. And then um, I think that's all the, the last ray, so I don't have to do anything more on the side there. Okay, so here's our rays and our sun. Oh my gosh, how cool, right? Wow. I am kind of in love with this. I think this is so super fun and cool and just a little bit different. I love that I'm incorporating two different patterns, but then also color and black and white. I think those alternating like that look really, really cool and play off each other nicely. Okay, so the last thing I want to do, or the next thing, I guess, not the last thing, um, this is nice and dry. That is a good bonus of the dilution paint is that it dries quickly. So that is amazing. I am going to use my um, Faber-Castell Pit Pen, which you guys all have. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so, you know what? Hmm. Hold on. I forgot I was going to use this shot. Oh, no. My cover, oh, that's a bummer. That's okay. Um, I was going to use this shine, but it's kind of small. And I I actually, I want to write, don't let anyone dull your shine. Okay, so I'm just going to hand write it. Um, I really, I was going to use this. Hold on. I just want to see. It's just not quite big enough. I don't know. I think I just want to write it myself. Um, so let's write it in, well, it's not going to matter. I was going to say write it in pencil first, but I don't think that will matter. Um, don't let anyone dull your shine. Okay. So don't let, I kind of want let to be sort of in the middle, but we have to make sure there's enough room for anyone. So in my brain, I got to think about like where the placement, especially since I'm doing it <laughs> in one shot. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to start with let and I'm going to do some fun kind of lettering. Let and then we'll do don't over here. Make sure there's enough of a gap so we have our word don't let and then and then I got a lot of room for anyone so I think that'll be okay. how that looks. Don't let anyone. And then we'll do dull your in the middle here. Okay. And then we're going to do shine, make it take up this whole space. Okay. Sorry, I have to be quiet for this because I really need to concentrate on how I'm doing my letters. Okay. Oh, I love this. I think it looks fantastic. This makes me so, so happy. So happy. 
And I had an original idea to take some of the other quotes in here and have them go up the, um, the rays, but I kind of just like this the way it is. I think it's pretty fantastic. So I'm going to change my mind, which is totally okay. You can do that whenever you want. So I'm just shaking up my um, black Posca pen. I'm going to add some definition into each of the, you know, separating each of the rays and the sun just to finish it up. And I think I'm going to be done with this one. I love, 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 love this um, this journal page. I think it's one of my favorites of all time. I just, I love the graphic nature of it. I love everything I've already said. I mean, I just, this is like, this is me all the way, you know? Whoops. That line is a little wonky. That's all right. So, man, okay, I cannot wait to see your quotes or your advice for yourself and what you do with your page. Man, sometimes I get a little nervous for stuff like this, honestly, because, you know, there is a certain amount of vulnerability that comes with making pages like this and especially sharing it with people. And, um, you know, and I just, uh, uh, I don't know, sometimes I get a little bit a little bit nervous, but honestly, this page and I mean, this is a great, this is a great quote for everybody. And I think we all, um, could use that advice from time to time. So, but yeah, I, I, I'm just in love with this. I don't want to do one more thing to it. I think it's kind of perfect the way it is. And, um, yeah, the other thing I want to say about that just literally popped in my head and I feel like I'm supposed to say this out loud to you is, um, sometimes people feel like, oh, I can't say I really like something I did, or oh, that's too boastful or too whatever. But it's not. Like, you you should love what you do, you know, um, and the way that you do it, because it's this is an expression of you, and you're amazing, you know. So you, you loving what you make uh, is 100% awesome. You know, and don't let, don't let anyone dull your shine and don't let anyone tell you any differently. I don't know if, I don't know if that resonates with anybody, but, um, I just felt like I needed to say it and definitely love your work. You can also not like your work. You know, there are things I've made where like, oh, I don't, what was I thinking? You know, and that's fine. And there's the, the range all in between and it's, fan and it's all wonderful. It's all fantastic. It's all meant to be that way. So I just wanted to say that, and um, here it is close up. I'll give you a quick little close up view. Totally in love with this page. Super excited about it. I think I want to make more in the same style. Anyway, can't wait to see what you do with this with this prompt. Let me bring it back up. The advice prompt, what advice would you give to your younger self or even yourself today? Can't wait to see it. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.